Hey Divas, Danae the Diva here. Just giving a quick little intro because it looks like I forgot to record one for you, but I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial today. If you are interested in how I achieve this look, definitely keep on watching. I am starting off this hairstyle with freshly washed and blow dried hair and I am going to just detangle and then section my hair off where I want my hair to be parted. I am wanting to do a quick little updo, something with the extra added pizzazz. So I will be using some hair paint wax in the colors blue and purple. So I'm just going to section off my hair and I'm going to use these outless bands to do so. So this first section that I am sectioning away will be for the added curls that I will be doing with the perm rods. And so from here, I'm just going to take a ponytail in the back. I'm just gonna part my hair and try to do it as evenly as possible. Use some shine jam to clean it up and just put it in a ponytail. And then next I'm gonna section off the middle portion of my hair that I have left out. And I'm just gonna form all of that into a ponytail from both sides. So just make sure you clean it up with some shine and jam or any type of edge control or gel of your choice and then add that up into a ponytail. I have it located at the middle section of my head. All right, so next I am going to separate both ponytails from another so that I do not confuse the hair from different parts. Then I'm gonna use this hair paint wax to style my hair. So I'm gonna just part this section into two and then I'm gonna make it into mini sections so that I can install my perm rods. For this hair product, I am using the main choice Pink Lemonade and Coconut Super Antioxidant and Texture Beautifier Curl Boosting Sherbet. That is such a mouthful. Anyway, I'm using that and then I will be adding my curl wax in the color purple and I'm not applying it at the roots of my hair because I like to have a nice little ombre from there I'm gonna add the blue to the tips so as you can see I have it going from um, my natural hair color to purple and then it's gonna ombre itself into blue I'm gonna repeat these steps on the next sections of my hair, applying the main choice or any hair moisturizer or curl product that you like. Then go ahead and add the purple and then add the blue hair paint wax. Make sure that you ombre it so that it is a nice transition between the two. Then when you apply the roller or the hair to the perm rod, just make sure that it lays flat so that you get a great curl when you take it out. And again, just follow those same steps. Take your time. If you don't get the curl on the rod just right, keep doing it. If you don't have enough color on the rod, feel free to add some. Just make sure that you do it as good as possible to the best of your ability. If you mess up, again, don't struggle. Just take it out, redo it again. It's better to do it now than to have to worry about it the next day when the product dries. So again, I'm just repeating this process and I'm adding some extra product just to make that curl and that color stand out. And so um, just do it as you feel needed for your hair, whatever you feel is necessary. Next, I will be following that same process for the ponytail. I'll be adding my The Main Choice Curl Boosting Sherbet. Then I'll add the purple curl paint wax, then the blue curl paint wax. Make sure it's ombre and that it's a nice transition. And just make sure your entire ponytail is filled. Next, um, you see my hands are pretty dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and wash them and then I'm gonna apply uh, some jam to my edges just to clean it up a bit. And this is what my hair looks like completely prepped for the night before. I will be adding a bonnet just to make sure that my hair is protected overnight and also that the curl paint wax does not transfer on my pillowcase or any of my bedding. Morning Divas, so I am going to do the takedown of this hairstyle and let me just say I really love the results. I was scared, no lie, but it came out so pretty. Look at these curls, look at the color, look at the ombre, it's bomb. So here I am just taking out every single perm rod and just be careful when you're taking out the perm rod, you do not want to disturb the curl. Now the curl I am taking out right now is my favorite curl. You see how it just naturally went back to a great shape? I love that, it's so cute. Oh, <laughs> that hurt. Okay, so, so far so good. This is the front section and let me go ahead and take out the ponytail section. So, 
here is what it's looking like I honestly love the color Ooh, so cute you guys I really love the color so I'm gonna use this argan oil of Morocco um, this is by organics this is a crowd favorite it's my favorite I use this for all of my twist outs braid outs everything gonna take this and just apply it to my fingertips you guys I am so happy with the color so far oh my god I'm just gonna put that oil over my curls just for added protection it is super cute I will say this is what the curls are looking like I'm gonna begin separating the curls there is some fallout there's a little bit of dust coming off when I separate the curls but not too bad this one is popping it's popping I kind of want them pinned up a little bit like that Then the, the ones up front in this ponytail, I'm going to pin forward um, like this. And I got some hair wax here. So you can kind of scrape it out if you want. Just be mindful of how you put it in your hair. I'm going to add some jam to my edges. Swoop them a little bit. And this is such a cute hairstyle. Just to bedazzle this look a little bit more, I'm gonna add some hair cuffs. These are gold hair cuffs by Rastafari, Rastafari, however they say it. So Divas, this is the finished look. I hope that you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you also click on the notification bell so that you do not miss an upload from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Peace.